I'm eating birthday cake. It was my brother's birthday yesterday. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good for you. So now I'm recording again. We are mm -hmm. discussing... What are we discussing now? <laughs> reclaimers? We were discussing reclaimers, but... I mean, I think you've pretty much wrapped it up, right? You've done a pretty good job of that. As, as long as, right, Luna, she practices healing and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So those are the skills that are, that's her artistic flair, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, let's, let's say if, if, we, if we put it into this uh, sort of creative vocabulary or creative do that mindset. So let's say... Uh, if she really wanted to, or if if she if she spends a lot of effort, she she could do something else as well. Or like let's say if uh, in some situation if she has to do something else that requires uh, uh, the reclaimer energy, she could she could totally do that. It's just that every day. Uh, she chooses to practice the the healing aspects uh, the most. Mm -hmm. I think in one of the rites of Split Personality 2 she and Rogue were fighting and using the old terminology uh, she had an ability called Leech like Luna had got a new ability called Leech and she was able to drain Rogue's reclaim energy from her mm. but uh, yeah I think uh, get rid of the whole naming scheme yeah because yeah, that just describe uh, what they do yeah 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 because uh, like the na the naming scheme would be very useful in uh, in an RPG where you pick up power ups and and, uh, and uh, gain perks and, and all that but mm -hmm. in a story, it will it will force you into uh, into certain I don't know into certain logic, which doesn't necessarily uh, improve the story. It can it's, actually it's very the story. strict. Yeah, it's very strict, like sticking to these things. Whereas mm -hmm. if you just describe what they do, mm -hmm. and there's like a, a like okay, so. Not state it outright, but the more reclaimers we come across, it's like, oh, these guys are special kind of thing. They, if I just describe what they're doing as opposed to saying this one's doing this and this mm -hmm. one's doing that, it's more organic, mm -hmm. right? So, I don't know. It feels like we're telling, we are telling the author that these guys are, are kind of special, mm -hmm. but we're not cramming it down their throat by saying, right now, this is this is mind spike and this <laughs> is you know whiplash and all this sort yeah. of shit. So. And it doesn't mean that in universe the characters themselves can't give nicknames to what they're doing. So maybe somebody mm -hmm. has a special style or special technique that they do, and they they can totally uh, use nickname for it. Uh, or some people who have survived uh, being addressed to. A reclaimer ability. Maybe they uh, give flashy nicknames or like tabloid names <laughs> uh, to to what has happened, but uh, but don't treat those as as the actual thing. Um, in Split Personality Two, Jasmine, Luna, and Rogue split up. So Luna and Rogue go one way, Jasmine goes another, mm -hmm. and as she disappears off into the corridor she sort of gets occluded from view like she she uses her skills to sort of i don't know make better use of the shadows or hide herself a bit better mm. and luna and rogue say oh she's a fader so they describe what she is as they know people who do that sort of thing but that that's like one ability. This doesn't this doesn't stick to the whole. It's mm -hmm. like an art style thing. There's a there's a unique flair and and that kind of thing. So, hmm. And that yeah, was, this was yeah. And this this again. This sounds very much like you know the blue magic and blue magic, red magic, green magic. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I I need and this is going to be one of these things that is it will take me a while to get away from. Mm hmm. 
I, I, because uh, my, I've got a directory of fucking reclaimer abilities in an Excel document sitting on the <laughs> drive somewhere, you know. So I really need to detach myself from that and just describe what they're doing. Yeah. I don't need to go uh, into By the way, detail. what they could say instead could be, Oh, she's one of... Uh, uh, give me a name. Give me a person's name. Uh, any person? Like Sarah yeah. Lynn? Uh, no, like a, pe a person we don't know. Oh, uh, Katie Carter. What? Katie Carter. Okay, so uh, oh, let's say Luna and Rogue observe Jasmine to do a thing and say, Oh, she must she must have trained under Katie Carter. I heard ah. that. I heard that her uh, that her <laughs> her uh, her people can do this thing. That's pretty badass, actually. I like that. Yeah, so so basically the uh, the formula here would be that uh, certain skills uh, get handed down or certain skills get sort of uh, shared uh, within certain training houses or, or by certain masters. And I actually think now that... Uh, Okay, I'm now also thinking that Rogue would... Now that we've discussed this, I'm thinking Rogue would probably be quite jealous of this ability. Right, she'd love to have something <laughs> like this. So yeah. she might be like, oh, well, maybe we should go check her out. That's hmm. like, you never got, a, got along with her, remember? <laughs> or like, too bad we can never go back to her house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too bad we can never... <laughs> nice. Uh, this also actually this this expands the idea it's like like on one hand you have certain training houses and masters who are able to uh, help with uh, with the uh, training or honing a certain moves or certain skills, but the thing would also be that uh, not every master or not every uh, mm, uh, senior will want to teach uh, every every young hothead. So it's like uh, these. Uh, these training groups or like it's it's never easy to be accepted by by any master or any any teacher and uh, and it's very easy to get kicked out from somebody's training group if they don't like you so there are also certain uh, like certain personalities tend to congregate because uh, because certain uh, uh, certain teachers uh, just won't uh, won't deal with certain people while the others uh, attract certain other type of people etc 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 so so you do get you might get a little bit of tribalism there or or like boundaries or groups but they are they are based on who interacts with whom not uh, not on some inherent uh, uh, perk logic. Tribalism based on social interactions. Hmm. I'm writing the notes. Tribe. I've written here. Tribalism based based on social interactions. Yeah. So so you might have you might have a group of one teachers. Uh. Uh. Pupils who are sort of uh, nasty towards another teacher's uh, pupils because they just personally dislike each other and uh, and uh, their and their pupils have also uh, taken over that dislike it's like oh it's one of those uh they do it in such a sloppy way oh i can't stand it but uh, but it's it's like uh, yeah it's it's basically like you know schools of thought and and schools of art and and so on. Mhm. Mm so 
Sorry, my silence is because I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Good, good. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that um, what was originally called fade. Uh, which we're not using those terms anymore. <laughs> uh, we can use them as author notes, right? We mm -hmm. could just say to one another, "This is this is what I used to know it as." Yeah. So, uh, fade used to be the confusion technique that Destiny had. Like she would be able to confuse a group of people mm -hmm. into thinking that she was somewhere she wasn't, and that eventually became. Jasmine's fader. So Destiny's okay. like the testing ground for mm. uh, all the new abilities, and then bang, they end up elsewhere. Mm. Okay. The... And now the original question was, what would Destiny do uh, to uh, uh, to get out of the transport or to uh, to escape fr uh, after her trials are over? So, uh, point one would be that uh, she has maybe stronger abilities than uh, than the command or whatever. Uh, this, mm -hmm. this, I don't know. I don't know what you well, call them. In my head canon, there's a reason she's called Destiny. All right. It, yeah. So. Um, but basically, the the people the people who seek to uh, the people who seek to exploit her exploit her. So basically, my idea is that uh, the abilities that she has activated uh, that her abilities are very unstable in the beginning and mm -hmm. and all over the place and maybe uh, she can't fully control them or like she she doesn't she, she's not yet skilled in their use. But also, her abilities can be stronger than uh, her uh, the, the people who seek to control her expected. So that would explain how she would be able to uh, do anything uh, running to shuttle. Because otherwise, uh, if you are running the operation of sending uh, the young uh, reclaimers to the trials and you know that they come back from there uh, with their uh, with their uh, quantum blood activated uh, then you would want to make pretty damn well sure that they they can't tamper with the transport so either the shuttle would have to be uh, automated or maybe the the pilots will have to be shielded or the pilots will have to be stronger than than the recruits or whatever so basically you would you would have uh, fail safes uh, in mm -hmm. place so either she's able to uh, do something that uh, that fails the fail safe or and here's an alternative idea for you. Uh, what if they allowed her to escape on purpose? Uh, this is weirdly full circle back to the original story. Because at one point they're like, let her go. So this works. What if? Yeah, so... So... Uh, they couldn't... So basically... If they would... Uh, let her believe that she has escaped uh, so it's like she believes that she has done something to the sh uh, to the shuttle or like she she believes that she has successfully used her new abilities to do to crash the shuttle while actually that couldn't happen because of the fail safes so actually it was part of the plan to uh, to direct her actions. But that was impossible due to fail safes. They are guiding 
for actions. Yeah. And, and this would also mean that they would they would somehow have to trigger her or somehow they, they would they would want to put the idea in her mind that she can escape. So there's there there's also that. So there that would have to be uh we will have to figure out uh the uh, the HQ's side of the things, like how they how they have planned uh, for this to play out. Because otherwise, it's just that she she's allowed to escape because plot. Yeah. All right. Oh, my right hand is growing tired. <laughs> you should uh, put another pin in this video. Yes, that is an excellent point.